Good afternoon, it's 12.45pm on Saturday the 20th of July and it's time for Today in my Bujo. So, did you have a good Friday? I did, it wasn't too bad. I didn't do anything, I didn't go out, just had a nice quiet day at home really, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I did not wear makeup, I did the challenge, Cerberus wasn't it? I'll think about that for a minute. Um, there was booze, fizzy and caffeine. There was chips. I did craft, I crafted for quite a while actually. <clears throat> um, I did not water the garden because it was raining so I didn't need to. It's got a bit of a thunderstorm last night which was quite nice. Also, the anniversary of my son passing his driving test. He's been driving for a whole year. I can't believe it. Yeah, a whole year. So I'm going to put my mood scoop at a seven again. Yes, I'm anticipating it'll be quite quiet for him at work today because it's Pride Day, so a lot of people are in Ride where the Pride's going on. Um, and it was quiet yesterday because it rained. So... Right, I put my my pain at a four. Yesterday's steps I got to thirteen thousand four hundred and fifty-eight. There's thirteen thousand, so let's put it more or less in the middle. So what have you been up to? Did you do anything interesting yesterday or today? Got plans for this weekend? Are you going off to celebrate Pride anywhere? Have you guys got a pride parade going on in your area? I did think about it, but it looks quite sort of noisy. And I don't believe it or not, as noisy as he is, doesn't like that kind of thing. He tends to freak out if there's something really noisy going on. So, um, yeah. I might take him next year, though, because he'll be a bit, bit bigger then. You know? Take that in a sec. I've got today's in. So, yeah, there's no point in sort of upsetting him unnecessarily, you know. Right, so yesterday I did the loo. Didn't do any laundry because it pretty much rained all day. Um, and I did the dishwasher, and that, that unfortunately was about it, really. That was about all I did. I was a lazy boo. So, the word yesterday. I think it's going to just be lazy. Well, I'm off on my lunch here. Finish. Hi YouTube! <laughs> Hi YouTube! He's finished all of his lunch YouTube. Can I have some Jaffa cakes? Um, we haven't got any Jaffa cakes. Uh -huh. I want Jaffa cakes. I know you like Jaffa I like Jaffa cakes, but we haven't got any. I'm going to have to go over the shop. <laughs> I'm not going to the shop. Which shop do they have Java cakes then? I'm not going to the shop. Right, I'm going to change my pen. Excuse me. Change the pen. Change the pen. Which one's that? This is another blue one. Yeah. Go on, off you go, please. And then you can get another blue one. Yeah, don't touch my pens. Let's see what it says, because it's been grey and cloudy, and now it's beautiful. It's blue, and there's floofy clouds, and sunshine. And it thinks it's going to rain all day. Please tell me that is yesterday's and not today. No, that is today's. Wow. But it is not raining right now. It is sunshine. See, look, there's the sun. Hmm. So that one's a bit shit today. So let's try the Met Office and see what they say. <coughs> see, it hasn't actually rained here today. So they're fucking tripping, mate. We actually had a bit of lightning last night as well. Yes, it wasn't as dramatic as I would have liked. I've been out and checked the garden over this morning, make sure that everything survived, and it seems to have. But, um, yeah, we had a lot of rain and a bit of wind, but not, not a huge great storm, which I was rather hoping for, because funnily enough, we had a huge great storm this time last year. 
came up my Facebook memories yesterday. But not this year, just a little one. Okay. Right. Okie doke. So. And I can tell you it's not raining because I've just hung the laundry out, so that one's having a bloody fit. The sun came up at 14 minutes past five and is going down at seven minutes past nine. So I have got on day face cream. Are you feeling a bit unsure of which way to go? Um, you're on a journey, whether it be a physical journey or a spiritual journey or an emotional journey. Life is a journey, okay? Each day is a journey. And you're not really sure whether to go this way or that way. Do you go left? Do you go right? Do you say yes? Do you say no? <sighs> you know? So you're a bit confused. So all the numbers on my calculator. Okay. So you're a bit confused really as to which way to go at the moment. Um, you feel pulled about. Maybe a bit as if you don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, might be a time to just sit and do nothing. And just wait to see what the, you know the answer will uh, uh, reveal itself to you okay so look at all the facts wait all the options if you're still not sure just sit back and wait Okay, I have written, life is a journey and you feel a bit confused, this will pass, look at all the facts. Right, so we need to write in... Thirteen four five eight, which was five point one five miles. Sleep was from about one o'clock. Until about eight o'clock. It was a better night last night. I know I had a period of awake at about half five, but not for too long. Thankfully. So yes, a much better night. I slept better. day yesterday or whether the change in the weather there was a hair on my pen and it's smooched yeah or whether it's just a change in the weather I've got a bit of a headache this morning um,
go. Um, yeah, a little bit of a headache, but again, I put that down to the rapidly changing weather. Um, but yeah, I don't feel too bad. So, right. Okay, it is Saturday the 20th. I have done the loo. The washing machine is going crazy in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. I have also done the microwave and the banister. I cleaned the bathroom the other day, but I haven't marked it off. It's not Thursday. Why didn't I mark it off? Well, I'm going to mark that as done because I did do it. I even said I'm going to clean the bath and go and, go and have a bath. I forgot to mark it off. Right. Um, I haven't done the rest of it. I probably won't vacuum downstairs because it doesn't look too bad at the moment. Uh, not doing that. Right, we are on to... I wish I'd done all this this week, but I didn't realise it's Pride Day actually. On the 20th. Okay, the work week hustle and the scores is done. Because I am on the ball. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. The go sheets are done. I finished that this morning. That means I've got nothing to bring forward for my to-do list, which is awesome sauce. <clears throat> I've just got to sync my planners. So, do 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 do. I am well behind. Look, I haven't colour coded any of this this in this book, and I usually do colour code my. I'm going to have to guess what fucking colour I've done everything. Right, well, that one was black. Let me now... This is what I tried to start doing last month, and I haven't done it this month, which is a bit naughty of me, really. I want to write my bills in this one as well, just so I can forward plan if I'm out and about. So, 9.30. Can't see, can you? What? Not right now. I've got my nails doing, and then on Wednesday, I've got the. Da, 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 da. Saturday, the wrestling. That's my son's wrestling school, holding their own event. Which is really exciting. And then, did I save myself a page? Yes, I did for the last week, even though it's only three days. Um, I've also got to pay white pot at some point for the servicing on the boilers. So that's that up to date. Just check my phone is up to date. No travel time. Alert, an hour before, add, right, that's just so my mother knows what's going on. Um, my mum likes to know where I am so that if she's got a problem she can check to see whether I'm at an appointment before she calls me. It just, it works out quite well that way and also if she gets any appointments she puts them in here and then I know where um, she needs, you know, she needs a lift or anything like that. Um, well, she will need a lift because she um, she doesn't drive anymore. Yeah, um, where my mum doesn't drive anymore, she needs me to drive her. And she quite often forgets to tell me about appointments, but she doesn't remember to put them in her book. So, um, or, or to put them in the Google Calendar. Um, so if she puts them in the Google Calendar, I can then come along and sync it into my diary and then I've got it and people ask me well why do you why do i have this if i use google calendar on my phone and my phone goes everywhere with me you guys know that because i'm usually about um it's purely because this is easier for me to see and i don't mean as in physically see i mean as in it's i process this easier than i do my google calendar because i can see the whole month at a glance um Whereas when I go into my calendar, it's not my Google Calendar, it's the Apple Calendar, it's, you just see the little numbers. And I know there's something going on because there's a dot, but I can't see it all in one go, if that makes sense. 
you know and there are a few things on here that i don't put in my apple calendar um like daryl's stuff like he had a leaver trip well that didn't entail me needing to be anywhere so it didn't really need to be in the calendar because i was still available that day you know um i prefer it in front of me like this i've i've always always planned i've i, I used to be a filofax girl and i always always planned and it wasn't until um i went digital for a while and i had it all on my phone when iphones came out i i fell in love and that was it and i had iphones for i've always had them right since the very first one um and i did okay with that for quite a while and then i had a few instances where things basically disappeared off my calendar and i was the only person using it um one of them disappeared literally as i put it in i put in a, an appointment for my son who's a cardiac patient and they said oh your next appointment will be so and so and so and so i put the appointment in and i checked an hour later and the appointment had gone and it was only because i remembered when and time that i was able to put it back in and i immediately came home and dug my file facts out and put a new calendar in and, and i've never looked back since and um i didn't think i could go for strings because i thought oh well it's no good because you can't rearrange it and all that lot but i actually really really like it like this so you know it, it works right so we are up to there all i have to do now is the challenges for today which are the word is a bikini um, glasses and Janis Joplin oh my god <laughs> yeah well that ain't gonna happen oh my god right I'm gonna go off and sketch that and I will be back in about 12 hours after crying and swearing and coming up with an alternative day went out for a bit with that Daryl and the dog earlier on we had a nice runabout it was good fun um, I've done the challenges which you've just seen I've not had any booze I've had fizzing and caffeine but only one glass chips I have crafted I'll do today's word I'm not doing the garden today because it got thoroughly rained on last night and it's still quite damp now so I'm going to let it dry out a little bit and uh, I'll water it tomorrow mood today I think we're holding at about a seven you know so let's put it in again as a seven Pain's actually not been too bad, so I'm going to put that at a three. Not done anything else really. Like I said, we went out for a bit. Lovely walk with Dow on the dog today. It's really nice. It's out in the sunshine. He and I got to sit down and have a little talk today, which was good. Right. So, what did I draw and why did I draw it this way? 
Well, my prompt for the 1969 challenge was Janis Joplin. Now, um, the Harry Potter prompt was glasses. So, you guys know I don't do faces. I am crap at it. I'm still trying to find a book that will teach me how to draw faces. So I sat and I thought about it and I thought, what can I do? Well, Janis Joplin, a bit like John Lennon and Harry Potter, wore the little round glasses. Well, those hers were quite big, weren't they? And um, most pictures you find of her online now seem to be the one of her wearing a big pair of round specks. So what I did was I drew Harry Potter glasses, so they've got the black frame and all that lot. And I um, Janice Joplin to them by giving them pink lenses. It was supposed to be like, you know, the glasses that start off dark at the top and then get lighter. That didn't quite work, but yeah, it was the best I could come up with. It took me an hour to come up with that. So there you go. That was what I settled on. <laughs> now you might consider that a cheat. Oh, I don't care. That's uh, that's it for today. And bikini was the word. I um, took this photo of the cat a couple of days ago of her. I don't know how well you can see that. I posted this online as so well as her cuddling Alex's arm. And I thought that was a bit sweet. So I put that in there. And a photo of my dermal piercing, which you can actually see on that photo. There, well, it is there, honestly. See? So, yeah, that's a photo of me in the photo of the kitty cat. <laughs> so, I did my circles around the wrong way though, which I was a bit annoyed about. I was like, oh shit. But there you go, never mind. So, that's that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah. Not really much more to say, is there? <laughs> there we go. Um, <sighs> I think I'll go to bed now. It's 10 o'clock, I'm tired. Um, I'm very tired, still, again. Um, so yeah, I think I'll head off to bed. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you've had a good Saturday. What have you been up to? Let us know. Comment down below. I like comments. Um, yeah, you know all of that. We like comments, thumbs up, all of that lot too. If you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears underneath, then YouTube's in a good mood. You'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in Sunday's edition of Today in my Bujo. See you later, guys.